Hey, hey, what up? It's Crash, and we're going to be discussing who the next LF Zenkai is going to be. These, by far, are the three most popular. Frieza, Super Saiyan Vegito, and LF Goten. However, Goten, he would not be run on Sun Family because we already know that LF Gohan runs on Sun Family. So this guy would be strictly Hybrid Saiyan and not Sun Family. So those by far are the three most plausible and possible ones. But I think it's going to be Super Saiyan Vegito. Because this guy, he's more likely than not going to be ran more on Sun Family, more than Hybrid Saiyans. And obviously this guy being on Sun Family is already a big, big, big challenge. So it would not help. And then Lineage of Evil, I really think that they would save this for a lot later to be honest. Because although they have gotten Zenkais and are not really that good, they still have gotten Zenkais unlike Fusion Warriors. So that's why I think that they would save this for a little bit later. Especially seeing as how they already have, I believe, one or two Zenkais and we only have one. So this guy right here, he's going to be getting the next LF Zenkai. If we actually look over here, we can see that there really isn't anybody else for Fusion Warriors that is the color purple because if you go over here you go to fusion warriors you make it that applicable and you look at the characters you can see that the next best one is either going to be this guy he's the worst option or this merge Zamasu. and this guy doesn't even buff fusion warriors in any way shape or form not even his uniques buff it which is obviously an issue leaving you to only choose super saiyan vegeto now some players believe that we're going to be getting a God Key Zenkai unit, specifically Red. But the thing is, is that none of these are as old or will be as old as Super Saiyan Vegito. Because once it hits May 30th, Super Saiyan Vegito will be two years old. Two years old, and none of these other units here are two years old yet. So that's why I'm thinking, like, for sure, like, without a shadow of a doubt, Super Saiyan Vegito is going to be the next LF Zenkai. To be honest, it really wouldn't make sense. I mean, this guy is two years old. He came out during the first anniversary. He is, as of right now, has as much popularity as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Like, at this point, I'd say 99% of the player base thinks that we're getting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And maybe 80% of the player base thinks that this guy is getting his Zenkai as well. Because to be honest, they really wouldn't need anything else. If we get Super Saiyan Vegito Zenkai, and then we also get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, that's pretty much going to have a set for a while. And then maybe two months after that anniversary is over, I could definitely, definitely see them zenkai this guy. Because we still don't have a defense unit. Unless we're going to be getting... Unless Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to be a defense unit, then we're still going to need a defense unit. And everyone here on this Fusion Warrior team... They're all strike based. There is not one viable fusion warrior that is blast based. And once again, we do not have a defense type. We, do, we don't even have a support type, a good one. So that's why I'm thinking that we're going to get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then maybe either next week at the start, in the middle, or at the end of the anniversary, this guy's going to get his Zenkai. And then two months after the anniversary was over, this guy's going to get his Zenkai. So we can have. Finally, a defense unit. Obviously, they can break it up into a bunch of ways, like I already said. There is a chance that he could get his next week. Once again, it's been more than two months since the last LF Zenkai with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. They could drop it during the first week of the anniversary, or they could do it like they did it with the second year anniversary, where they had like different parts to it. Like for the second part, you remember that banner we got with Paikon, Super Kalk, and Goku. They could do that, but with Super Saiyan Vegito Zenkai, they could say that that's a part of the anniversary. Maybe like the third part. Because I could see them dropping the second part of it and it being a banner for God Key's Red Unit. And then the third part would be like, or the second part would be Super Saiyan Vegito Zenkai. To me, that makes the most sense. Because you have Gogeta drop. Boom. You know, primarily he's going to be running on GT. And then on fusion warriors maybe even on saiyans too hopefully he doesn't buff saiyans though because if he does man but that's that's a video for another time that's a video for another time so there's that and to be honest if you look at all the other colors here we we kind of have them covered for yellows 
we obviously have this guy and Gogeta Blue. I, myself, though, I find myself using this guy a lot more than Gogeta, or this variant team more than him. For Reds, we have the best unit on the team. I mean, this guy, without a shadow of a doubt, is the best team, I mean, character on Fusion Warriors. And then you can also use this guy here, too. If you don't have Zenkai Super Saiyan Gogeta, great option, great option. But this guy, he's pretty much just going to be strictly benched. Uh, his defenses are just completely aged out and got power crept. I mean, you have other units that are not defense type, and they have higher defense stats than him, which is obviously like a pretty big issue. So that's why this guy is mainly just run on bench, and I never, ever, ever use him. For your blues, you only have one option. You only have one option, which is Vegito Blue, or at least one viable option. Yes, you can use this guy right here, but it's not like you're going to be winning every single match, or he's going to be the reason you win the match. He is definitely not a great option. Like if, if Even if you have this guy 14 stars, you would definitely still want to choose a two-star Vegito over him. Like There's no doubt about that. So we have one option for blue, viable option. And for green, we do have two options, but it's the same deal. This guy's stats are old. His kid isn't that very good. So Kefla is the only one. However, even Goresh said that looking at the tag, that it would kind of be nice for them to get a new green. And I agree with him on that. I mean, you guys have heard me say it before. You've heard me say it before where Kefla is a hard hitter. She hits, 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 but she can't nearly take as many hits at all back. At all. She just cannot. That's why this would pretty much be like the best opportunity to introduce a defense unit. Because you have a hard hitter like her, and then you can drop an actual defense unit. Because this guy, the only thing that helps Fusion Wars with him is his Z ability and one of his uniques. And that's it. Nothing else from him actually was made specifically for that so you can see plus 10 percent damage inflicted by allied fusion warrior and the only other thing is once again this is the ability and that's the only thing that worked for fusion warriors this guy is made to run on legends road which is why you never ever ever see him run on fusion warriors unless you don't have kefla or super saiyan gogeta so that's why i'm thinking potentially we could get a defense unit later down the line for fusion warriors so that's that's what I'm saying right now. So the color red is covered. The color yellow is covered. We only have one option for blue. And there's definitely the possibility that someone else can be that color. And Kefla, she can be replaced by a defense unit. Or this guy can simply get a Zenkai and fill in that defense spot. And then for purple, once again, we have three options, but only... One of them is viable at this point. However, he really isn't viable at all. The only reason he is viable is for the fact that he is the best of the three. But that doesn't mean that he is great option. So, yeah, he's going to be getting the next Zenkai. To be honest, if I'm looking at his kits and everything like that, his stats can obviously be improved. His defenses are extremely low. Let's see what he's got at. 14 stars, yeah. At 14 stars, he has below 160,000 defense. And that's for an LF unit. And that is very, very, very poor. Very bad. His strike attack, blast attack, it's 244, 221. At his base stats, that's kind of good. But pretty much nobody's going to be having from him 14 stars. Especially if you're free to play, you're only barely going to be having him like 6 or 7 stars right now. So imagine that. They're, they'd be even lower. So that's what that is. So these are my stats right now. But once I get him to 7 stars, he'll be a little bit more. Higher in stats. Higher in attack. But that's the reason he needs a Zenkai. His defense starts are doing extremely poor. So let's look at this again. Below 160,000. And this is what I'm saying. So this Kefla right here. She has pretty much the same defenses as him. Same defenses. Pretty much. However, this guy, he's got even higher defenses, over 160,000, which is more than Vegito, 
which again points out the issue that this guy needs defense as he has been power crept by other units that have higher defenses and deal more attack towards him. His HP, uh, I, don't, I don't really know about that. I don't know if that really needs to be improved. The only thing he would need is damage increase and a defense increase more than that. So I maybe say like 20 5k to defenses and maybe 10k to both strike and blast attack for the blue deals massive impact damage restores key by 30 upon activation really i don't see that changing at all maybe restore a little bit more key 35 something like that the green now this is one that i actually do like this is one of the better greens in the in the game so reduces damage received by 20 timer count. I mean, reduces damage received by 20% for 15 timer counts cannot be stacked. So what I'm thinking is they can increase this to 25% to 20 timer counts. So a little bit of a of a buff right there. 30% to Onki recovery for 15 timer counts. I don't see them increasing the percentage, but I do see them increasing the timer counts by 5, so 20 nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 25 timer counts and i can see them making it activate activate three times instead of twice now his ultimate deals massive slice damage applying the following effects to self upon activation 40 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts nullifies enemies restore health when it reaches zero for three timer counts when this character attacks. So he has blast armor on that too. I can see them just adding 10% to the ultimate damage inflicted. I don't think they would add faint or anything like that to it. I would only see maybe potentially making it so that you recover key when you activate it. I don't really know. But other than them increasing the ultimate damage to 50% from 40, this should pretty much stay the same. And his main ability. This is whew, this is even better than Gogeta's, to be honest. To be honest, man. To be honest. He draws the ultimate arts card, Spirit Bomb, Spirit Sword next. Restores his own health by 30. 30%. And he restores his key by 50. 30% health, 50 key. So not only are you getting close to half your health back, but you're also making sure that you can use the ultimate and also since you do have those three timer counts to use it with that 50 percent of damage inflicted you're gonna be able to have 29 key left over so you'll be able to use a blast or one more strike and then pop the ultimate and it increases arts card draw speed by one level definitely i want to see that increased i definitely want to see that increase to maybe 30 counts 30 35 counts because him having card draw speed is a menace because once this guy gets his zenkai he's going to be a monster there's no doubt about that what wouldn't be more broken though because if it's tied his to his main ability that's going to make it a little bit more restricted which is going to make him a little bit more balanced what would make it broken is if they tied it to his green card where it, as soon as you activate it boom you got 30 counts of card draw speed that would be something players complain about but if you only tie it to the main ability, that would kind of balance it, considering how broken my mans would be. And then is the ability, you know, that's already chilling. Potara Fusion, 40% of your damage inflicted for 20 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. While this character is on the battlefield, the following effects occur when an arts card is drawn. Strike arts, 20% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Blast arts card, 20% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Special arts. 20% to own key recovery for 15 timer counts. Special move arts card. 20% to special move damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. I can see them just increasing the timer count by 5 more, making it 20. I don't see them increasing the actual percentage of damage inflicted for each of them or the effects for each of them. And then he obviously has 30% towards regeneration here, inflicting more damage up against them. He still has his cover change. And he gets plus 10% to damage effective for 15 timer counts when an enemy uses an arts card while this character is on the battlefield. So whenever he gets hit by the enemy using an arts card, he gets that buff. It'd be nice if he got plus 10% to damage, uh, damage afflicted and 10% to sustain damage cut 
four 50 timer counts. That would make this guy good. That would make this guy amazing. He would fulfill the purple spot in Fusion Warriors after them not having anything for two years, unlike God Key, where they had, don't have a unit that's over two years old or that will be two years old. He'll finally fill in that spot. And Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will be up alongside him. And this guy, two months down the line, will just be waiting for his Zenkai. And Fusions will finally be as competitive as other tags are. Like Super Saiyans, Saiyans, or really, I call them Zenkai Family, Zenkai Saiyans, Zenkai Super Saiyans, Zenkai Androids, and Zenkai God Key. Then we'll finally be able to call ourselves Zenkais as well. And then from there on, they move on to different tags and whatever, but that's what I see. Because God Key, they have LF beers. They're not going to be getting this freaking LF Vegeta. Like, they're not. They're not going to get the LF Vegeta Zenkai. There's no way. Then you have Androids. We don't have an LF Android. Saiyans, nothing. Super Saiyans, nothing. And then you have, you know, Sun Family with LF Goten. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna be getting Zenkai. LOE though, to be honest, I mean that 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 is a contender. I mean I can't not acknowledge that. But with Super Saiyan Vegeta turning two years old for the anniversary, it would make sense for him to get his Zenkai during the anniversary, not like after, but during the anniversary because that's when his birthday is. So that's what it would make sense. Anyways. I'm going to be having a 20,000 CC Crystal Summon for the anniversary. I'm going to be dropping a bunch, bunch of videos showcasing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on Fusion Warriors, doing PvP. Once the data mines actually come out for this week, I'll also be covering that as well. Once again, I'm going to be reacting to the reveals and stuff on May 29th. So stay tuned for anything and everything that's coming up on the channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Our goal is to hit 400 before the anniversary, also known as 4 4 Gogeta. Hey, we back in this bit. I am a god boy from another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you.